Hello again, folks. Got one more quick one for you. Uh, well, first off, this is my personal project, but I figured I could use it just to show you all what I'm going to be talking about, which is foliage actors. So a lot of tutorials I've seen, they show you how to do foliage stuff, but they mainly just show you how to paint static meshes onto the field, and they're not very interactive static meshes. Whereas, if I go up and I try to hit this tree, you see I can actually harvest it. It's because it's actually a blueprint actor that I've painted on with the uh, foliage paint tool. So all of them can be harvested and can even find the logs because of what the blueprint I have set up to do. So it's actually pretty simple so we'll just jump right here to it. So when you're in the foliage edit mode and you've got all your spots right here if you go to add foliage type you can add an actor foliage then you can go through and uh, save it where you want to so I'll just call this foliage actor exam Oop. pull and I'll save it just in the blueprints folder so here's that foliage actor and then when I find it here in the whatever you would call this, the grass holder. When I highlight it, I can select the actor class I want to use. I have this one set up. I don't have any code inside of it or anything, but it's it'll work just for example's sake. So I'll say, I'll just select that one, and you'll see that the picture has changed inside of it. So if I go through, I can actually paint it and add it to the landscape just like you would any other. Oh, that's that's kind of creepy looking. I like it. Right. I'm digging it. So then if I have any kind of code inside of it, so let's say I'll put a delay of like three seconds and then it just destroys itself. Just for, just to show you. And then they're all gone. So yeah, you can use that to like if you're making a survival game and you got a lot of bunch of or got a lot of bunch of got a bunch of harvestable stuff, but you don't want to go around and set them all individually. You can just use this and just paint them where you want them. Go to single instance mode, boom, set them all around just like you like. Uh, I'm gonna get these off mine though because I don't like those right at the house. But yeah, it really comes in handy when you're doing stuff like that for like crafting. You want to gather stuff or, you know, you could even use this for like treasure chests if you wanted to. If you have them set up to specialize each time they're created and you could just go around and actually just single instance paint them where you want them instead of having to drag them out. Although you would probably want more hands-on approach for them. But, but yeah, it's it's pretty cool. So... Just another quick one for you, so hopefully you enjoy. Catch you later.